found a little mud. I beat to 11.30. I beat 11 o'clock, you know. Key to riding in the combine tractor, whatever all day is, uh, making it past 11 before you eat your sandwich. So I'm full again. You can see, let's see, where are they at? Right here. Right there. I did my finger. That's uh, dump trucks, the grain cart getting filled up. So, uh, Looks like Andy's headed back across the field now. But while I'm waiting on him, it takes him probably three minutes to get out of here. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Oh, sandwich today? Like always, ham and cheese with a little bit of mustard. Would have had some bologna, but uh, the kids wanted it this morning for breakfast. So if y'all can see him, he just crested that hill. So we're on a little rise that goes down, then back up. Throw the tractor set, then down again, then back up. And uh. Yes, this is some of the flatter stuff I farm. So we'll show you how to start it again. Slowed it down, slowed my engine speed down. This one does my separator. It's a three position throttle, so one click is medium speed. That's full blast. Reach for a turn my head on. Head thread. Away we go. You notice my auger still out, so go over here hit this switch back. Auger starts going in. Kind of see in the mirror, my auger's both back. Once my auger's all the way back, I hit back into neutral position. So I count rows two, four, six. Two, 
Yeah, because I know where to jump in at. Go right here and these buttons. So with the corn head hooked up, this secondary button controls how fast my, my intake runs and head. So this does down and up. So I got a rose gun over two, four, six. I'm hitting on this and i lower my head down a little bit, slow my speed, start going in. And once I get into the corn, I pick my head back up a little bit. So that, that way my knives should be just, just below the ear. Right into the west spot. Hit the old rear wheel assist. That's a west spot. Not, not as exciting as I made it up to be. But we walk right through it. It's just a small west spot. Well, folks, I've been working the last minerals out down this bottom. So this green part over here is uh, what they refer to as a W ditch. So it's a, a ditch on be the east side, a big hump, and a ditch on the uh, west side. So it kind of makes a shape of a W. So uh, I got sucked down in that ditch a while ago. Lock not to get out. I didn't film it. I kind of I kind of panicked a little bit, I'll be honest, I kind of panicked a little bit, but I got it out, I got the comp, but I had to drive up on the ditch, drive up on the green part, rock it back and forth, and I got out of the ditch, so uh, I'll show you where it got me, I mean it drew me right down into it, so right now I'm running four wheel drive, and the second gear four wheel drive fast I go is 4.7 on flat ground. As you can tell, there's a ton of grass down here. Like I was saying before, we replanted the majority of this bottom. So we replanted, oh, probably nine acres down here. And uh, it's still got plenty of water in it. I'm about to come back and re-ditch this too. We're getting close to where I slipped off in the ditch or well, it give away and suck me down into it. So you can see right there. I'm trying to jump on the bank. You can see where it's spinning on the edge, all the water going up the slide marks. I may have made a little berm right there in that ditch. I'll come back and fix that fix that later. Didn't film it, should have. But it, I, I was more concerned about getting the combine out without having to get on the radio and have them bring a tractor down here to pull me. I'm pretty sure the 47 could have pulled me out. But it's pretty muddy down here and it just being two-wheel drive. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it got me out. But we're moving now, that's all that matters. Corn looks like junk down here because of all the uh, crabgrass in it. Right here you can see the replant. So yeah, the last two years in a row I've had to replant a good bit of this bog to do the ground out. So I'm gonna do this, this I say this fall, but what I'm gonna do probably later on in the winter, that ditch over there is cleaning it out. I can clean it out and I can move the dirt out a bit back up here into some of the washes in the field and smooth them back out. Yeah. That dish got me. She got me good. And I'll show you another shot of it. Didn't think I was going to get out of it. I was able to get up on that bank, get a run to go, and back up really fast, and pop back into the field. So, glad I got out of it without bearing the combine down. So I tried going forward, and while I was, so I was driving forward, the hard cut left, tried to pull back out of the bank, but uh, 
all my rear tire was it was spinning got back up back back up and i was able to pop back up on the right side on that bank and i got a good run and go at it jump back out of there did drag it did bang ahead on the ground pretty hard but i got out and i had the head picked all the way up when it hit the ground give you an idea that i probably made a ditch it was a about a foot deep probably three foot deep in that spot and uh, if i wouldn't have got out that set that that's the third time I tried to back up when I, when I got out. When I got out that time, I would have stopped and called in bring a tractor and strap some chains and whatnot down there and pull me out. But I'm out of it, so I'm gonna get back off of here and I get back to paying attention. Of course, I am further away from the ditch now, so I should be all right. So uh, I'll try to film this side and stuff. If not, I will give you a nice detailed description of it. So uh, we'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Still at it. I ain't running a combine back in the ditch, so we're doing, I'm doing good. Just one for the day. If you can see the church right up here, you'll notice it's on actually the top of the hill. I'm cutting the side of the hill right now. Just to give you an idea of how much more I can get cut when I'm not having to haul grain out, especially for the back side of the field back here. So by, we ran yesterday, we cut about 25 truckloads between, I think we got going about 10, between 10 o'clock and we put it at 6.30 last night due to a, a fuse being shot on the headlights of one truck, so we just, we shut it down early to fix that. So far, hey, I got 30 loads cut, 30 combine loads cut, and it's just, just 430. So that just shows you that you can cover a lot more ground when you don't have to come in and out of the corner. But as far as him pulling loads out from back here and taking off the front load trucks, he's doing a fabulous job. Found a little mud. It's another beautiful sunset this evening. So, what we got left is about all 12 rows down there. Go from right down here to right down there. Should be about a quarter of a grain tank. I think it's around about 40, 50 bushels. So we're just waiting for the cart to get back. Gonna fill it up one last time. And then we're gonna call it a night for the night. The uh, next field I need to open up has a little bit of more glories in it. And I'd rather cut them when they're dry instead of having dew on them like, like it's right now. You can see, you can kind of see the haze right over here. And that is the dust coming out of the combine and it's floating back and getting caught up in the dew coming in. That's why it looks like it. But we're about done. Had a pretty productive day, you know. We got probably about 40 loads cut today in the combine, which is a really good day. So it always helps to have somebody drive the cart and keep up with me, even though I'm having to pull out of the field like this and or well not to feel but pull out of the rows or the corn and stop for a minute it still helps tremendously to have somebody even do that right there but it is about quitting time they andy was telling me that the tractor beat at him while ago which means the uh, fuel tanks getting on the low side i built the combine up this morning with what i had left in my fuel tank and i should have tapped the uh I should have saved a little bit putting a tractor. So right now we're coming off a little hill too. I'll show you a spot over here. It's not much of a slope, but you can see the spin marks right there and right there. That's where Andy tried to drive straight up the uh, steep bank. I should have told him that the two-wheel drive pulls the cart fine. They're gonna go up a slope. It's better to go up at an angle gonna go straight up it you need to have some ground speed built up and go ahead and have your rear end locked together 
but he handled it just fine. He, he spun out once, and I saw him spin out the second time, and I got him on the radio, and I said, hey, I told him, you just need to back on down. He said, that's what I'm doing. He said, I'm gonna back down and uh, go out of angle. I said, that's exactly what you need to do, man. So, he has done, he's done really well today. But like always, I appreciate y'all being along for the ride. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Now, if you did, give us a like. If you want to subscribe, that's up to you. If you feel like it, you can drop a comment. We uh, we try to answer most of the comments. We uh, appreciate y'all being with us. Hope y'all had a good day and a productive day. And you know, if uh, good Lord's willing, we'll catch you on the flip side.